for the music. Yeah. Um, is somebody, there was a text of five, two, three, five, three, wanting David to kind of talk about American Idol, um, and the new season, the new judges. Do you have any thoughts about that? Oh, um, you know, it's, I I guess I heard that Jennifer Lopez and Steven Tyler Mm -hmm. official, Mm -hmm. official judges now. So I think it'll be interesting. I, I like having someone, uh, Hispanic on the there judge you go. panel, yeah, I'm like yeah. <laughs> but they say she's not. She's going to be very, very timid. Jennifer, hmm. well, not timid, but just really? you know, she's going to be very nice. I know, oh, which is okay. she's Jenny from the block. She's from the Bronx. Mm-hmm. She should have some attitude. That's right. That she's got. But she is. Uh, she is. Uh, she's supposed to be the nice one, I guess. This yeah, season. That, that's the way they're kind of set. I, I heard that they're actually because they had their first set of auditions together, and they've put Randy on the end seat now. Yeah, he's the, the one Simon that, that now. Simon oh, used to sit in. They're kind of putting him over there. So that's crazy. And uh, so, uh, did you? Uh, American Idol, obviously. Uh, who was shocked that David didn't win American Idol? Me. I was shocked. Were you shocked when David he didn't win? Did win. <laughs> well, you saw the game. <laughs> did win. But uh, yeah. Arshel, and, and that was uh, that was a very surprising result. Uh, not really. I mean, I was, you're so humble. I, was so, I mean, I think the most surprising thing. Well, for me, like for me, the most surprising thing was that. I mean, me and David Cook were both pretty surprised to be there. We were just like, oh my gosh! Like we can't. I mean, I, well, watching the show, me, none of us were. <sighs> I mean, for me, I was like, well, it, it's, I wasn't surprised that he was there just because he was mm-hmm. amazing every single week. And it just like he kept getting better. It almost seemed like. And I, I'm, I don't know. It, after, I mean, after all that and everything that's going on, you just can't believe that you're there after right. everything. Because it's like such a long process and so much goes on. And, and you're just like, wow, I can't. Do you think I'm, just, it, I'm just happy to be here. Yeah. Uh, were, at times, uh, was it? Did you think it was too much? Like you had to learn the songs for the show, and then do a Ford commercial, and then do Ford commercials. You, those are usually kind of like kind of the relaxing thing to do in the week because yeah. everything else is so crazy. Right. Um, it was everything was always hectic, and it was always just like go 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 do this do this do this. And mm-hmm. oh, by the way, to make sure you have time to rehearse for your song that you have to sing Tuesday and and get judged on in front of millions of people that's true but it i mean it, it it taught me a lot it taught me to be it taught me patience it taught me to, it taught me to um learn how to multitask and and just kind of have things happen at this you know spur of the moment mm-hmm. and expect the unexpected to happen it's it's prepared me well for <laughs> what's happening right. now uh yeah one of the th- a lot of the stars that have gone through the american idol process crystal bowersox most recently they uh they have like a moment where they almost leave the show did you ever have i mean it, it, be honest i mean it could have been you didn't verbalize it to anybody <laughs> but did you ever have any moment where you just said you know what i can't and this has got to stop because it's too much um you know i i mean there are Definitely moments where everyone is feeling very overwhelmed, mm-hmm. but it's everyone's but you were really happy to be there. Sixteen when you were on the show, so it's a six lot and more seventeen. Pressure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was. I mean, there there was a lot going on, but it's just at the same time we're so thankful to be there, and it's kind of the point where it's like you know, do I? It's where you find out if you really want to do this or not, mm-hmm. or find out how it is that you really want to be doing music because it kind of. Um, American Idol is great. It's it's boot camp for singers, and it throws everything at you at once to say, "Do you really? This is everything you're going to go through. Do you really want to do this?" Mm-hmm. And it helped me know it's yes, I do want to do this. So that's what was good. Even though sometimes there are moments where like, I don't think I can get through this. I can't. It's like, I am I going to still be alive by the end of this well, week? Well, you had, but in it, addition to the, yeah. the American Idol machine, David kind of was like in the tabloids because of your father mm-hmm. in oh, the yeah. audience. And, yeah. and so that kind of became a thing, too, that not many people really have had to deal with that. You might have had the worst kind of like press uh, drama. Mm-hmm. That yeah, you had to it, deal it with. was pretty dramatic. It was, I mean, it it went from like okay figuring out the song and I also was the only minor well mm-hmm. so that I was the only person who well other people had their parents there but I was the only one left that you had to like it yeah. was a legal thing you have to have <laughs> yeah a it's there. It, I was supposed to and so it I had school as well mm-hmm. so that that would take out a few hours of each day so I was usually the last person at the studios mm-hmm. because I had to stay for school especially if it it took longer if the day was going longer right. And, um, I mean, it's, it was just funny to see how it just gradually, like, I didn't know what was going on. It was the interviews. I'd find out what was going on from the interviews. Mm -hmm. 
So it's like really interesting, like, you know, oh, my dad doesn't give me water. That I haven't heard that one before. <laughs> that is pretty and it's dramatic. Like, or, and or like all the contestants were against me one time, apparently. And it just, it's interesting the peop- the things that people come up with. And right. it's, huh. you know, it, I, um, it's just interesting. Now, is is know. your dad I, still very involved in your career? Because I, I kind of didn't know if maybe he was going to be here today. I, I wasn't sure. No, right. I mean, he doesn't really travel with me. And I mean, I have my parents come. I'll, sometimes I have my mom come. Sometimes I have my dad come. Mm-hmm. Sometimes I have my aunt come. It just it just depends on, on who, what kind of thing it right. is. And it's like, oh, this would be good to have this person. Because sometimes I can bring an extra person and and my siblings are in school. You could have brought your whole family but, uh, for what you're doing yeah. for us, David. No. You could have brought all of them. Oh, no. What the, uh, what was it? What was? How'd uh, your dad handle all of the stuff that was going on in the tablets? Did um, it bother him? I it yeah. I mean, you know, no one wants to be treated that way. I mean, a lot of people looked at him like some some. Um, like well, controlling, controlling, yeah, controlling um, stage dad sort of thing. Yeah, dad, yeah, and it's, I mean, it's like he's he's really helped me out. He's been great because, you know, you kind of need that, you know, a lot of people kind of like, oh, well, parents. I mean, every parents, period, are viewed like that. You sure. Know, no matter. Well, I mean, especially you if you got that, it in 16-year-old in show business that's yeah. been singing since nine. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, the Jonas Brothers have their dad with them. Justin Timberlake has his mom. That's true. Yeah. Mom with him. And it's like, hot you mom. look everywhere. Everyone, everyone kind of has their parent there because the parents are the people who are looking out for them. The parents don't have the hidden under, under the, um, the intention. Right. Uh, yeah, they don't have the hidden agenda. Like, uh, other people seem to have where it's like you know it's like oh i can make money on this person well that's can, true yeah. and, and that's and, why that was kind of uh curious as, as whether your dad was still like a mentor in your career and oh it yeah sounds my like parents sort of but not really because yeah. he's not here with you no my my parents are definitely the ones i look to for for help and guidance and just because they're the ones who care about me more than anyone else right. and so they're not. They don't. We're going to try to give gonna... them a run for their money before the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> they're gonna try to, and in fact, we have a text at five two three five three. Uh, Monica, the listeners would like you to give David a hug. Oh, I thought you were going to say play my music, that song. Shh. I was like, Whoa, no, we like that. That's an audio <laughs> hug. <laughs> oh yes, I would love a hug. Can I hug you? Oh, sure. I think I already did. Did I hug you? No. Okay. They, they request, I mean, I don't, right. you know. Okay. We're right. getting your text oh, at 52353. Three. Uh, just some uh, instant reaction from the performance. David is great. Love yes. the song. Oh, thank you. Uh, amazing. Wow, that was great. Awesome job. David, you sound amazing. Awesome. Oh. His singing oh, thanks, this everyone. morning has made me really love him now. He oh, is no. real. <laughs> and I love it. And then it just goes on and on after page or page. Or page. Oh, so thank you. Great. Uh, more text for David at 52353. Three. Do you want to do another song? Uh, well, no, what no, song I, mean, I don't want to put you on the spot. I just, I just say that's your taste. I'll I don't see know you how it will sound. It's <laughs> oh, perfect, that's the only beautiful, thing. perfect. I'm like, uh. all right. We'll get back with more yeah. David Archuleta in just a minute. Then tonight it's a sold out show. We're giving away tickets. K92 Virginia's number one hit music station. Danny and Zach, Miss Monica, David Archuleta in studio. Nicest person ever in the history. So sweet of this studio. I, I can't mm-hmm. think of anybody who was kinder. Just very gentle, no, uh-huh. kind man. Nobody at all. I mean, he was so kind, so nice, and so gentle that Monica didn't try to corrupt him at all. What's going on? I didn't, on? I didn't Monica, even like, try normal, to rub my breasts on him or anything. You always try. Yeah, I Anybody know. who's famous, she puts them right in their face. I know, because I think when he first came running up to the door, I was holding the door for him. And you have to have a special key fob to get into the building. Mm-hmm. And I said, I said, David, take my keys and get yourself in, and I'll um, be helping your, your guitarist. I was like, yeah. I feel Mike. like I need to be protective of him. You know, you know what? Yeah. I was going to say, I kind of have a, a completely different perspective of his father now uh, because of all the stuff that his dad went through with the tabloids and everything. Mm-hmm. And then I, I really do understand it after meeting him and really since then becoming a father myself is his job is to protect his child. Yeah. And his, I want to help Jeff Archuleta right, out. He's, uh-huh. I mean, David is so nice and so sweet and so trusting of everybody. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's his dad's job to be the heavy, uh-huh. to be the one that looks out for him. I, I totally Very understand sweet. it now. Yeah. Well, we will have I, yeah. lots more tonight at the Taubman. Did you give away this hour's tickets? No, yet? we're going to do them in Lyrical Pursuit look at right this, now. Are we going to play Lyrical no, Pursuit we, right we're now? Uh-huh. we got to get some dirt in first, and okay. then we'll do Well, then we're going to do two in the 9 o'clock hour, because we're going to do one in Lyrical Pursuit, and then we'll do one in the Pop Quiz. Oh, well, right. you don't have to get an attitude. Just I know. It's got a tone, we got, No, we got Six. an attitude. It was too nice in here for 45 minutes. Protect Archuleta, not the tickets. I know. 
K92 will be live at the NRV Fall <laughs> Festival Saturday with Bob at the NRV Mall parking lot, 11 a.m. to 1 p.m. Lots going on there. American Express gift cards. Gift-